Yesterday, a brand new diffusion model came out from this company called Black Forest Lab. It's called Flux, and oh my God, it is the most incredible thing I've seen in a long time, and I'm not just saying that. Let's jump in, and I'll show you why I think that. I've only had this live a few hours on Pixel Dojo, and people have already been creating crazy images with it, stuff that I would say not only rivals what you can create with Midjourney, but also has really amazing prompt adherence, and for the first time ever, one shot text creation. And I'm gonna show you a whole bunch of examples of this, but it's pretty mind blowing. Now, if we jump over to Black Forest Labs website, we can take a look at a couple things here. First of all, a couple things to note, the team behind this actually came from Stability AI. This is the people that created things like Stable Diffusion XL. They came over here, they started Black Forest Lab. It's backed by some pretty heavy hitters in the tech space, Andreessen Horowitz, to name just one. This thing is not only open, it has some amazing qualities. It generates images pretty rapidly when you look at some of the other competitors out there, like Colors and Aura that have come out in the past few weeks. It's well-funded, and if you look at here, uh, we can take a look at the scores for the Flux model. Now, this kind of shows how each of the current reigning champions stack up against each other. You can see all the way down here at the bottom is SDXL Lightning, bottom right. And we've got Pixart Sigma Aura Flow V2, which just came out last week-ish. SD3 Turbo, SD3 Medium, which is what came out from Stability AI not too long ago as the sort of open weights version that you can run at home. Dolly 3 HD, which we know Dolly has some pretty good qualities, but there's a very Dolly-esque feeling to all the images it generates. One of the three versions of Flux, it comes in Schnell, Dev, and Pro. We'll talk a little bit more about that, but Midjourney V6 is about on par with the Schnell model. Then you've got Ideagram SD3 Ultra, which you can only get via Stability AI's API. Flux Dev and then Flux Pro, kind of the 12 billion parameter monster behemoth that they just released. So talking a little bit about the three models, you've got Flux Schnell. This generates images about 10 times faster than the Pro model. It's much lighter weight, but it also produces lower quality. You can see the cost to creative capabilities kind of graph here that charts it over time. Now, Flux you can run in Comfy UI. There's a link I'll drop in the description below so you can check it out, run it on your own machine. If you don't know how to use Comfy UI, you're in luck. I've got a tutorial about that. You can check that out as well. Now, the dev model is designed to be used by developers. As the name sort of implies, this is something that you can build upon. You can do things like image to image and all the other amazing things. Hopefully we see this replace LoRa training, image to image, upscalers. I hope this gets used everywhere. And then finally, you've got the pro model. This is a closed source. It's only available via API. This is what's running over on pixeldojo.ai. So if you wanna get an unlimited usage of that pro model, you can sign up for a subscription, use that and the 20 other AI models that I've got loaded in there. So let's take a look at the capabilities just a little bit more. So we'll jump into a couple of these. You can see this one, for example, I generated last night. It has a photo of Snoop Dogg. It says Pixel Dojo and spray paint on the wall. You can't really see that as well. And then Stable Diffusion sucks. I said this because, man, I'm telling you, I think that this model is what Stable Diffusion 3 should have been from the start, and it just sort of let us all down. But if you take a look here at the prompt, now, this is a pretty crazy prompt because it's generated by a large language model that I've got internally. Let's show you a little bit more about that, but you can also use some pretty generic prompts and get back some really cool results. Here's one, for example, that one of my users, I didn't create this. This is from a guy on my site called Totes. And it's, I would say this is as high a quality as you'd get from something like Midjourney V6. And it's simply a cat looking into a camera, point of view, fisheye lens. So really cool. There's two things to note here. One, you can use a very simple prompt and you can get back a fairly high quality result, which is something cool. You can also use a really complex prompt and you can direct where every object in a scene should be. Here's another example. I'll just go ahead and let you read this prompt. Uh, but thanks, totes. This is actually a pretty cool image overall, I'd say. Now, if we take a look at some of the ones that actually have, this is pretty hilarious. 
I haven't seen some of these. These are being added to the site, you know, as we type here or as we record here. So this is the stand COVID edition by the same guy, a man standing over a body bag coughing with the text above in shadow style saying the stand COVID addiction edition. Really cool. So that's where you can see that you can get this amazing quality from the actual uh, text that comes back from this. Here's another one using kind of the style of the movie it. This one was run through the creative upscaler to give it a little bit higher quality after the fact. You can see the the child's face is much better quality after the fact, uh, but really cool overall. So let's jump in and I'm going to show you how to generate some actual images coming right in here and you can try Flux now. Now I've got two different ways that you can access Flux over on Pixel Dojo. You can either just jump in here and you can drop in a prompt. So we'll say beautiful lady freckles, big smile, ruby eyes, and you can change the aspect ratio. Go ahead and do a portrait, click generate. Uh, this only takes a few seconds. It's a pretty fast model, all things considered. And again, this is the pro version. So this is the 12 billion parameter behemoth that they've released. And what you get back is really high quality. We can go ahead and take this and make it full screen here. And you can see the details and the eyes and everything else. It's just, it's a really spot on model. And it's generating exactly what we asked for. We asked for a woman with freckles, ruby eyes, which you can see that ruby color there. So the prompt adherence, really spot on, pretty impressive. Now from here, you could save this or you could send it on over to the Creative Upscaler. But I'm gonna show you another, what I think is an even cooler way to use this. We can go over to the Create tab and I've got something new called Image Dojo. This was using Stable Diffusion 3 previously, but honestly, after seeing the quality of Flux, I kicked Stable Diffusion 3 out of this. And here's a really cool thing about Image Dojo. You don't have to be a prompting master in order to get really good results out of this. And I'll show you why. So we'll say a coffee cup that says Pixel Dojo on the side. Now, normally you wouldn't get a super high quality image out of this, but when we click send, what's gonna happen is it's gonna send that prompt into my large language model that's been fine tuned on how to create detailed images and stock photography, that sort of thing. So now it says create an artistic image of a ceramic coffee cup with sleek modern design, prominently featuring the phase Pixel Dojo elegantly printed on the side in a stylish contemporary font. It knows everything about lighting, colors, photography, lenses, all that sort of stuff. And then it'll automatically start generating the image. And you can see you got back the coffee cup. It says Pixel Dojo right there on the side. Now you could say what you like and dislike about the image. I'll say make it a wine glass. And you'll notice I don't have to specify what I want to make the wine glass. It already has the context of the previous prompts where it knows I'm talking about the coffee cup. So turn the coffee cup into a wine glass and you can see it updates the prompt and it says a modern wine glass elegantly designed with a slender stem. Really cool. The idea here is this takes out most of the heavy lifting from you having to create prompts and then iterate through images to get exactly what you want. And now we've got this nice modern wine glass next to a coffee cup that says Pixel Dojo on the side. All right, so let's start a new prompt. We're gonna say a Ninja Turtle holding a sign that says Pixel Dojo. Simple as that. Large language model is gonna come back with our detailed prompt right there. And we can see that hold a sign that says Pixel Dojo in bold pixelated font, conveying a sense of retro gaming nostalgia. Cool. And one shot, got perfect text. Once again, that's three for three if you're keeping track. So we could say, I want this to be made of plastic, like a toy. And we'll see if the large language model is able to modify the prompt and convey that over to Flux. And you can see that all I said was, I want this to be made of plastic, like a toy. I didn't have to say the Ninja Turtle. I didn't have to add all that because again, it had all that previous context from the prompts before it. And here's our plastic Ninja Turtle. Very cool. Now, if we like this, we can go ahead and click on save image. Otherwise, you can also upscale it. So if you click on the upscale button, this is automatically gonna save the images to my images, and then it's gonna run the creative upscaler that's going to enhance and double the resolution of the image. You can see that it just takes a couple seconds there. And then we can take this refined image that's been upscaled, and we can simply jump over to my images. You can go to explore, my images, load it up, and you can see what you've just created right here. 
Uh, you can also make this public by simply clicking on this lock icon, make it public, and now the whole world can see this in your gallery over here on Pixel Dojo. Right, let's start another one here. We'll say a realistic robot painting on a canvas. The words in the paint say Flux Beats Stable Diffusion 3. And here we've got our robot painting on the wall. Looks like Flux Beats Stable Diffusion. It did lose the three at the end there, but that's pretty freaking good. This is the first shot. Really, really impressive. There's obviously a lot more to dig into with this model, but it's really promising from the start. I'd say more so than anything else I've seen that's been released in the past few months. And I've got to say, this is really kind of the what we were promised when we heard about Stable Diffusion 3 the first time. And I think Flux finally actually starts delivering on that. But I want to see what you end up creating with this. So head on over to pixeldojo.ai if you can and submit these images to the community gallery. Otherwise, jump into Comfy UI, install the smaller model and start creating, messing around with it. So you can see how cool this really is. As always, I'm Brian Lovett. This is All Your Tech AI. We'll check you next time. Thanks.